Hey guys, it's your boy Bobby. You're listening to the Not Your Normal podcast. Subscribe now. Oh, I love the new intro. I think that's gonna be the new intro from now on. But um, yeah, it's been a week. It's been two weeks. I don't know. You tell me. But uh, first of all, let me explain why. Then. <clears throat> I can then tell you, you know, you can go ahead to what we're talking about today. So the reason I haven't uploaded in a couple of weeks, I may sound stressed and I may look stressed for those of you watching on YouTube, but uh, it's because of, um, I've been on a lot of projects lately and they have been taking a toll on me mentally, physically, it's been a bit stressful. So I had to like, cut some things down i should have shot you know some extra episodes of the podcast that i plan to shoot but then things came up on one thing or the other and it didn't work out the way i was hoping it was going to work out and we ended up not being able to you know shoot some of those extra episodes but regardless of that that was one of the reasons why i couldn't you know upload for the past week and the week before that as well um i've been working on a project and one of them is a couple of projects rather and one of them is a film a short film and when it's out obviously you guys know i'm gonna share the link with you guys for sure but it's been stressful too so that is one of the reasons why i didn't upload and uh that that particular project took a lot on me so you know it's been one of the reasons why i haven't uploaded but yeah well here i am we're done shooting and uh i'm just working on the editing and all of that uh, alongside other projects as well <clears throat> forgive me my voice keeps getting cracked or something i don't know why but uh yeah we are back on the podcast and uh, this is me telling you guys i am sorry for not uploading and ladies and gentlemen i'm happy if you're watching this on youtube i am happy if you subscribe to my youtube channel i am happy thank you for getting us to 800 subscribers 800 I, listen man i don't even know how to explain how happy i am but i'm very very happy and i just want us to keep going let's get to 1000 subscribers and let's move to 5k subscribers let's get to 10k subscribers let's get to 100k subscribers let's keep going guys <clears throat> so today uh i'm just gonna talk on something this is just me alone solo episode again um i know i've been saying we're gonna have a lot of guests but you know as things are going people are really getting swarmed up with work and you know but i, I, I mean i I do appreciate the fact that a lot of people are trying to make our time to be on this podcast episode. And uh, listen, we're not going to rush them. Like I said, this podcast is here to stay. So even if they don't come on this episode, there's still more episodes to come on, right? So what are we talking about today? Listen, so today I, I just want to do some little talk on, on some things that I, you know, think as a creative or should I say, ways that I think creatives can become better at what they're doing, right? So, in the past couple of weeks, like I said, I've been busy on projects and doing different things. And, you know, in the midst of doing these projects, I have met with different people, right? People I'm not even familiar with, people not, in, not from my state, like, you know, where I live. Um, and one of the things that I have noticed is, or one of the things that I have been, I have picked up, you know, to become better and things I have learned is, you know, so many things, how, no, uh, let me, let me rephrase this. So I've learned a couple of things from just meeting those people, right? And the only way I was able to learn those things was because I was able to go there with the mind that I knew what I was doing, but at the same time, not to be too um 
forward with what I already knew, like, you know, with the knowledge that I have. So basically, it's, it's like this. So basically, in depending on whatever field you're in, depending on what you're doing, I have suggested it before that you should associate yourself with, in, you know, in communities and, you know, in things like that. And as much as you associate yourself with these things, one thing I did notice or one thing I did, you know, understand is you're going to meet people that are better than you. You're going to meet people that know way more than you. You're going to meet people that have been doing the, the things that you're doing for a longer time than you, right? So when you meet those type of people, how should your attitude be? How should you mm, perceive those people? How should you, you know, take them? And that is one of the things I, I had to, like, you know, learn. First of all, I'm a very patient person, so I I pretty much will observe people before saying anything. So I'm good at observing people. And in the past couple of projects that I've just worked on recently that has kept me from not posting this podcast, again, I'm sorry. Um, I did meet a lot of people, right? I met a lot of people. And meeting these people... In my to myself i told myself that i i needed to like you know because these are people that have been doing the things that i've been doing especially for the film you know these are people that have been doing it way longer than me so rather than you know trying to be forward with the knowledge i have trying to say i know this why not you know try and just walk with them walk with the flow if i can chip in ideas i chip in ideas and uh that's what i did so basically, other than, you know, just working with them and doing what they said or, you know, just trying to be, you know, understanding and all of that, I also got to chip in ideas. And uh, it was a thing where it was like two two sets of creative worlds coming together to form something really, really nice. And uh, I'm really impressed with what the things that I have just worked on recently, I have to tell you that I'm very much impressed I'm not going to show a snippet or anything. So if you're on YouTube expecting me to, you know, give you something at the end of this video, no, that's not going to happen in this episode. But probably on the coming episode, you just, you know, stay tuned and see. But um, yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to say. So I, you know, got to really learn a lot of things. I got to see things being done in a different way, in a much more interesting way you know and uh i think that that should be applicable to other people as well depending on what you're doing because i know for a fact that you're going to find yourself working with a new set of people or people that you don't know at some point in your life or some point in your career and i think the i think the word that describes this whole thing would be being open minded i think i think that would be the best word to um describe you know what i'm trying to drive through because people are there's a when you when you're trying to you know let's say you when you want to do something or you're trying to work with somebody as much as you have your ideas or you have things written down try as much as possible to also have an open mind to be able to accept what the other person is also trying to you know bring to the table because at the end of the day you guys are coming together to work on something together so it's not just about the way you think things should be done okay so uh that's one thing i i did i did learn and uh i wouldn't say you know i learned it like i haven't been doing it before but it became clearer it like it, it was like the reality of what you already know right and uh yeah it was it was really interesting i'm not going to lie it was a very very interesting fun set you know fun work and um i think when an environment is not fun or interesting is when you know two parties or one party doesn't have an open mind as to what the other party is bringing to the table and as much as i'm saying this as to, to i mean for creatives always creative come a creative can be better or you know become better i think this particular statement also applies to um relationships right so when you're in a relationship you do not want to as much as you have expectations 
you don't know, want to put your expectations in front of you. Rather, have an open mind, but at the same time, have some expectation, right? So try and balance it so it's not like you expect so much from someone that you cancel everyone that comes to you without even giving them a chance to, you know, because people are different and people will always be different. You can never like, you know, it just, it just takes, you know, the grace to find someone that, you know, has the same chemistry with you and you guys are able to gel. And even regards of that, even if you do, you still have to, you know, get to know that person more. You have to still have an open mind. And I think that's what I pretty much learned. Uh, it's it's uh, as much as it sounds so plain and simple it's really deeper than that because at the end of the day i think that a lot of creatives do not you know should i say uh i won't i won't be quick to judge but i'm just gonna say maybe maybe we need to work on that part of our lives much more better like you know become to make ourselves better because at the end of the day watch whatever project it is that you're working on is is the handwork of both of you or you know the group or you know whatever the two parties and the success of that project depends on you and the other person and in order for it to be successful you both have to work together right and we all want something to be successful we want this project to be successful we want what we're doing to be successful we as persons we want to be successful we want people to look and be like oh wow i love this and the only way you can achieve that is the first step is to you know accept and try to hear from someone that way you're able to you know also learn things that the person knows and the person is also able to learn from you so it's not a situation where you've worked with someone and you can't really say what you have enjoyed or what you have enjoyed you know what you have learned from working with that person um these are some of the ways i think that creatives can get better at what they're doing i think the first point that i said about joining communities it's a very key point i've made a video a short video a 50 second video about that on instagram and i said that you should find try and attach yourself with communities and if you are looking for what community, I mean, there, there's so many communities, there's so many internet platforms, let's be honest. A lot of us just know Instagram, Twitter, and WhatsApp, probably Snapchat and TikTok. That's it. But you also have like Reddit, you have Behance, you have Discord, you have a lot of them out there. And this uh, Reddit particularly is like a community thing. So you have a lot of communities that you can join. And I remember that recently i found i am in a lot of communities and in one of these communities i decided to ask about a gear because i was trying to buy an equipment and the community is pretty much big we have like over seventy thousand people in the community so and people and i mean and by seventy thousand, i mean mixed people so it's not just one country type of thing it's a lot of people both international and i went on this chat so we have different groups, I mean, different subgroups. And I went on the gear chat to find out about a gear. So I asked, do you guys think it's a good idea to buy a monitor, right? And uh, that was a good question for me because not like I do not know that I need to buy a monitor, but I just felt like I needed the opinions of people. I just felt like I needed, you know, to hear from people that, you know, do the kind of things that I do. And I'm able to understand where I'm coming from as a person. And uh, when I put that up, I got a lot of response. Okay. And, and in a group of that much people, obviously, you don't need that amount of people to respond. But I was getting up to like 50 people talking about it and, you know, giving the pros, the cons, you know, giving even uh, the, the product type to buy advising on all this and you know this 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 was of 10 minutes chat that i had and i was able to make a decision i was like oh yeah you know what i'm gonna put a budget for it and it's pretty interesting like that because at the end of the day these are people that can relate to what you're doing so you other than just asking such questions i can as well 
post my project and be like, hey, what do you guys think about this? I need, you know, critics. I need people to tell me honest truth. And people are able to point out and be like, oh, you know what? You should have done this here. You should have this. And this is a way to become much, much better because not only are you, you know, speaking with just random people, but you are speaking with people who have the same expertise as you as a person, depending on what it is that you do. And so for me, I think that community thing, community thing is really, really a great thing. And I think that we should be much more engaged in such a thing. Um, I really wish that, you know, we could have like the local groups as well. Like I probably would create one, but I don't know. It depends on how, you know, people will be willing to join and stuff like that. But you never know, man. You never know. But um. I really do enjoy some of these things that I've just said. And this past week that I haven't posted, it was stressful, but it was, would I say it was what the stressful. So it wasn't just stressful and stressful for nothing, but it was stressful for something good and something, you know, worth doing. So um, not only did I just, did we, were we able to do something good, but also, I was also able personally, I was also able to learn new things, new methods, and just random things that, you know, have now stuck into my head, you know, and um, also meet new people and, you know, get to network as well. And so it's really, really, really an interesting and beautiful thing. So I think, you know, the whole open-minded thing should be one of the key things that, you know, you as a person should have depending on whatever it is that you're doing. So I think this is some of the ways that you as a creative can become a better person. And uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. Like I said, thank you so much for 800 subscribers. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wish I could say 800. Um, thank you 800 times, but bro, that's going to be a while. But thank you um if you're listening to this on anchor and uh or apple podcast or something we just hit 800 subscribers on youtube and i'm so happy if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel even if you do not watch the youtube versions of this podcast you can just hit the subscribe button man i didn't just upload podcasts as well I, you know i have a couple of other videos that i probably will start getting back into and you know uploading al as uh, alongside the podcast and we'll see about that but you know, let's we'll see what happens. Um, next week another episode coming. Uh, thank you guys so much for all your patience. Thank you for understanding how stressful things have been. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your likes. Um, I really look forward to hearing your opinions as well. So yeah, you can leave an opinion or you think things that you think that I have left out in the comment box below and uh, just let me know what you also think and uh, let's talk let's have a conversation man uh yeah i sound a bit stressed but i am okay and uh listen let's have a great weekend let's have a great week ahead as well see you guys next week it's your boy you already know the name so peace out <laughs>